Today we're going to have a look at Sonic 3D Blast, so here we go. Yeesh, that was kind of... What happened to SEGA? Now this game wasn't made by SEGA, it was only licensed by SEGA. The game was made by Traveler's Tales. Yeah, a Sonic game made by Traveler's Tales. So, the plot of the game, these little guys are the Flickies which were in the game Flicky, have been captured by Robotnik and put into animal suits. Basically, the plot of Sonic 1, except it's 3D-ish. And you start in Green Grove Zone. And this has gameplay that is very similar to Sonic Labyrinth. So, you basically have to destroy all the robots and collect the Flicky and rescue the Flicky inside. Whoa. And also, there are secrets in this place as well where you can collect rings. And also, you might even find some elemental shields. Like this yellow one that gave Sonic one of his signature abilities, the homing attack. And you, sometimes you'll find Knuckles and Tails. And if you give them enough rings, you'll enter the special stages to get to the Chaos, which you can get a Chaos Emerald. And of course, by being this special zone, of course at the end, you get a Chaos Emerald. I mean, what else would you get at the end of the special stages? And if you don't collect the Emeralds, you are rewarded with the bad ending. Well, not rewarded with the bad ending, you get the bad ending. To, so to get the good ending, you have to collect all the Emeralds, and then... And that is when the real final boss shows up. Well, not real final boss, just the final final boss. So collect all the flickies in that in the part of the zone you are in, and then bring them to the ring. So once you collect five flickies in one part of the zone, bring them to the big ring, and then you're on to the next part of the zone. Well, on to the next part of the act, anyways. Because you don't end the zone there. The next part of the act is basically the same thing. Just destroy five robots and collect and rescue the flickies that are inside. And then get, and then go to the second and sec, go to the second go, gold ring to get to complete the act. Sadly, getting all the emeralds will not give you the ability to turn into supersonic. It just gets you to the last final boss of the game. So once you complete the act, it's on to the next one. The next act is the same thing. Col rescue five flickies. Well, rescue ten flickies, and then on to the next. And then, and act three is uh, is just a fight with Robotnik. So after completing the second act, you get to the third boss with Ro well, actually, you get to the third act, which is a boss fight with Robotnik, and it's only a boss fight with Robotnik. You'll see what I mean in a sec. See? It just puts you into the boss straight away. And I have to say, it looks real the graphics look really impressive in this for in the 3D version. Even though it's not actually 3D. 
Now another thing, Sonic 3D Blast was not only put on the Genesis, but it was also put on the Sega Saturn. Yeah, it was put on a console that was a failure. They did the same thing with Sonic CD. Ah, oh, crap, I forgot to talk about Sonic CD. I'll get to it later. So after beating the boss, basically after defeating the boss, you go to the next zone. Dusty Rain... Rusty Rain Zone. I don't know why it's called Rusty Rain Zone. I don't see any rain. <laughs> and no matter what, it's the same concept. A boss fight with Robotnik. Rescue the Flickies. Defeat the robots. And, this zone, and in this zone, there are these spinny things that make you spin around like the crazy and can destroy pillars. Which can u be used to progress through the level. And kind of remind me a lot of Crash Bandicoot. And I think most of you can see how it reminds me of Crash Bandicoot. Okay, so the bo so this stage is a giant knight statue. Huh. Wait, why does this boss look familiar? Why does it rem It just reminds me of another Sonic boss, for some reason. If you guys know what this reminds you of... Okay, what does this boss remind you of? Let me know in the comments. And seriously, leave comments this time. Because the other videos didn't have any comments, okay? Spring Stadium Zone. It's a stadium and it's full of springs. It's... I wonder if it's like Spring Yard Zone. Whoa, check out this boss. Does it look threatening? Yeah, give the Eggmobile some arms, and it is one killing machine. Okay, on to the next zone. Diamond Dust Zone. It's basically a snow level. With slippery slopes. Whoa, a nice slide. And also snowmen that are hard to avoid. There are these shards. And, oh yeah, I forgot to mention some there are pro, we, weapons in there are guns in the game that you can't destroy how's that fair all right let's see what this boss is oh he's using uh lasers yeah that's completely original like he's never used lasers before he has used lasers before. On to the next zone. Volcano Valley Zone. It's a fire level. Which kind of reminds some of you of Red Mountain in Sonic Adventure. If I do review Sonic Adventure, I might split it into multiple parts. The boss is basically just... Um... I don't know how to explain this boss. It shoots fire, and it's surrounded by lava, and you use the pipes to get to the boss, to hit him. Huh, actually that's, that's basically it. Gene Gadget, Janet Gadget Zone. It's basically the 3D version of Scrap Brain Zone. With extra obstacles, security, and, huh, pipe traveling. We haven't seen that since Sonic 2 in Chemical Plant Zone. Oh, look at this boss. Yeah, you basically just run on a treadmill and hit, jump up and hit him. Oh, look, he shoots missiles. Yeah, that's not a cliche at all. Panic Puppet Zone. What? What is this? Like, is it like, um, Wing Fortress Zone? And why does it have the same music as the opening? I 
I mean, imagine playing this on a Sega Genesis controller. With the directional pad to control all the 3D movements. For me, that would be a problem. Okay, wow. This is actually way better than the other boss. Basically, avoid his armed crushers, and just hit him when, actually, you have to hit the arms to defeat him. So, so this boss has three waves. Yes, three waves. So after taking him down, what do we get? Him escaping from Eggman's lair. And we get taken to the final boss. Which is this thing. The final fight. It's hard! It, and I mean extremely hard. But once you beat him, after defeating the boss, you get the good ending. All the flickies are free, and now Sonic can now take a vacation. Oh, I almost forgot the Saturn version. Wow, you actually get a map screen in the Saturn version. I wonder what else is different. Whoa, the graphics are improved. Oh, and the music sounds way better. Basically, the Saturn version is an HD improvement of the original Genesis game. So what do I think Sonic 3D Blast? Well, I give the Genesis version a, uh, a 4 out of 10. And I give the... Uh, the Saturn version, a uh, 7 out of 10. Tomorrow, I will have a look at Sonic CD.